check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hello, how's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Cam. And if you're not new and you keep coming back again and again, thank you. I really appreciate you. Today's video is brought to you by my lovely Patreon supporters. I just posted a video on Patreon. So if you're interested in more personal kind of content, <laughs> there's a link to my Patreon below. And okay, before we move on, I wanted to show you guys because this is a new era for my channel and I don't know if you noticed there's a new camera as you can see I'm in focus wherever I move which is not something we had before this is a brand new luxury for everybody here <laughs> so you are welcome um, I also have a new microphone and I'm recording in a different way than before I have a software I'm using right now for the recordings so how exciting is that everybody like I mean just a new era for Camellia the channel and oh yes let's just keep in mind Cam's Scams my next channel I guess my new channel that I'm planning to start in January it's currently empty but Cam Scams is where I'm planning to post videos that are well edited and so on and on this channel we're gonna do more like reaction types and we're gonna follow stories like at every single stage at least this is what I want to do okay in today's video we're talking about dad challenge podcast because this story is insane I've covered dad challenge podcast in the past on this channel and it didn't go very well so there was that but anyways dad challenge podcast is a channel here on YouTube who covers family vloggers he claims to have this mission to take family family vloggers off YouTube or at least to have some sort of laws implemented when it comes to family vloggers being able to show their kids on the internet and that's all nice and dandy but the problem that I have with that challenge podcast and that, that I've had for a very long time is that his way of going about things is very very bad like he's bullying people he calls it comedy when it's definitely not it's just bullying behavior he has done some things that i personally think have crossed so many lines but i want to do another video that is a deep dive into that challenge podcast rather than making it about this situation because this situation is pretty insane on its own and I think we should just talk about it right here. So there's a family channel here on YouTube called the Daherty Dozen. Lots of people have covered the Daherty Dozens because they are doing some things that are very very problematic. If that's something you're interested in me covering let me know I am more than happy to do that. But for this video what I wanted to talk about was that challenge podcast being sent a cease and desist letter from the Daherty Dozens channel because I think that he has taken things too far. He took it upon himself to read some of the cease and desist letters so we're gonna have a look at that but what I will say right off the bat is while I don't agree with family vlogging channels existing and having their kids on the internet I also don't agree with the dad challenge podcast in the way that he's talking about these things. So let's look at what he said and I'm gonna pause every once in a while so that I can give you my opinion. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually cut down his video because it was alive and it was over an hour or an hour and a half or something. And I just basically took the most important things that I felt like I had something to comment on. And um, this is what you're going to see in this video. So let's go. Lush, hi. Did you call your lawyers because you're scared about what I have to say and what I found out about you? Did you call your lawyers? Well, it's not very nice. You bet your baloney behind she's watching and so are her lawyers. Hello, Corinne, or whatever your name is, lawyer. Here's what's going on. So I've done about, I don't know, like 10 videos about the Docker D Dozen. There's a bunch of people that have done videos about the Docker D Dozen. But I find it really, really odd, or whatever, that as soon as I dropped my thing yesterday on my community page, because I've just spoken to a bunch of people that know what's going on in the inside of the home. There's been some stuff, some people that have been connected to them that have yeah, uh, one thing that I do want to say is that he has indeed covered the Daugherty Dozen in depth, <laughs> so we'll give him that. But um, what I will say is the other people that have covered them have not been uh, so intrusive, I suppose. He's going as far as talking to people who have been in their house, and essentially this is why he's being threatened with a lawsuit at the moment. That have gone there, that have been whatever i'm not gonna I'm, and i'm never gonna give up my sources ever right because that's what i've made promises to my sources but the things that i was told really just go along with what we already think immediately cease and desist all libel 
cyber stalking and invasion of privacy. Yeah, this is where I feel like he has not quite talked about it. Throughout the entire video, what he talks about is slap lawsuits. Slap lawsuits are about libel and defamation. But he's being accused of cyber stalking and invasion of privacy. So, and, and libel as well. But the other two <laughs> are, I think, I think they might have something. Privacy. Yeah, privacy might. Oh my God. The fact that he's talked to people who are going to their house has made the other party think that he's using spies. He's sending people into their house. And I think that's kind of a valid claim, if you ask me. When you put it in front of a judge and in front of people who are like real people in the real life and dealing with the law, I think. They don't care about your social media reporting as much as you think. What if this lawyer knows that Alicia has um, over 5 million followers on TikTok and almost a million on YouTube alone? I wonder if she, if she knows that. Anyway. Well, she knows that, but that's not relevant. It goes like this. Dear Mr. Barber, this firm represents Alicia Doherty. If you're represented by legal counsel, please direct this letter to your attorney immediately and have your attorney notify of such representation. We are writing to you on Ms. Doherty's behalf regarding your campaign of harassment and cyber stalking against her and her family. Yeah, this is pretty bad, I will say. This is one thing that I remember from when I talked about him back in the day, which I thought was crossing the line. At the time, he was talking about the stoffers, and he was essentially talking about hiring a private investigator to go find Huxley or I don't remember exactly the details of this. I will have to look it up again. But um, yeah, that is sort of cyber stalking, at least in my opinion. We demand first that you refrain from going ahead with your live stream about the Doherty schedule today for 1.30. Oh, well, it's it's on. Mm. Second, we demand that you cease and desist from all libel, harassment, cyber stalking and invasion of our client's privacy. Now, in my opinion, I am not doing any of those things. I yeah, but your opinion <laughs> really doesn't count as much as a judge's opinion. So if they have a claim and they can show that you're doing these things and you're just here <laughs> giving away all the tea about what you're doing, they might be able to convince other people. They're not trying to convince you. They're trying to convince others. I'm commenting on the videos that she puts out. No, you're not. You're not just commenting on their videos, though. You're talking to people who have been to their house. That's the cyber stalking part. She puts the content out there. I comment on the content. Yeah, that part is not what they have a problem with. So they're considering that cyber stalking. Also, she says, you know, that you cease. They're not considering your commentary cyber stalking. They're considering the cyber stalking of talking to people who've been in their house or sending people to their house, which could be true or not true. Like you can never know. So... You know, that's the part where I feel like he's crossed the line big time. And desist from that, an invasion of our client's privacy. Yeah, when you have people sent to their house or when you talk to people who've been in their house and they're telling you things that are not in the videos, that are not public, that's invasion of privacy in my book. I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know the laws of it, but like... Come on, that's pretty fucking invasive. That's interesting because the private things that we, that I'm about to tell you guys, they're not private. She's a public figure and someone told me about those things. Yeah, but someone told you about things that are not in the public sphere. So, they're private. In a recent video on your channel, you disseminated private facts about the Doherty children based on your own admission that you sent a source inside the Doherty home to gather that information. <laughs> This lawyer is telling me that I sent a source inside the Doherty home to gather information. <laughs> okay. This conduct appears to be grossly illegal under civil and criminal provisions against cyber harassment in both Canada and the United States. First of all, they're going to have to prove that I sent someone into their home and I didn't. That's ridiculous. Someone who has been in their... I don't know if it is all that ridiculous, frankly. Like, he's making it sound like, oh my God, this is so stupid. I don't know if it's that stupid. Like, I feel like they have something. The Doherty dozens have had so many videos made about them. They're not just suing or sending cease and desist to all these people. They're sending it to him for that particular thing, for having people in their house talk about private things. 
that is not the same as commentating on videos. And that is why the other people who have talked about Doherty Dozens are not getting cease and desist. Multiple people actually have reached out to me, if that's what they mean. I don't know if that's what they mean. Yeah, they could have reached out to him, but like they, he doesn't have an obligation to pu publish information that is not double fact-checked. Your subscribers mm. are taking their cues from this extreme and outrageous misconduct, resulting in a barrage of phone calls and emails to the Doherty's children's school and to Josh Doherty's place of work. Your subscribers have also made numerous... That is pretty bad because that claim, what it shows is that there has been damage. So when it comes to libel and... Um, slander and things like that one of the items that you need to prove is that there has been damage so the fact that people have called josh's workplace is proof almost well i'm sure that they need to show the actual proof but like it's sort of saying there has been damage look at this like his damaged reputation at work numerous false reports about the Doherty's to new york state office of children and family services all of which has been found up substantiated so what they're saying is that all of you guys have been calling the school and his school. And okay, I didn't tell you to do that. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. The cease and desist is addressed to him though. So what they're saying is they think there's a link between those calls and what he says online. And if they can show the link, then you should, you're not as safe as you think you are essentially. I am not responsible for what you do. If you feel the need to call the Department of Children's Services because you feel like these kids are not in the right place, that's not, I can't tell you to stop that. No, but you, you're you encouraging harassment. You're an adult. Do what you want. I'm not going to do it. I don't think calling Department of Children's Services will do anything. They're garbage. Virtually all of these communications parrot the exact talking points in your videos about our clients, and many of them contain outright threats of physical harm. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Don't do that. I've never told you guys to ever do that. Don't do that. If you are, don't. But they're saying, if, 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 if people are sending messages saying, Josh sent me to do this, then you better have your, your receipt saying that I sent you to do this. Because I would never, ever do that. These kids' lives are already in enough danger and grossness as it is for somebody to be sending someone after kids. Yeah, see, this is the part where I feel like the slander is real. These kids' lives are in danger. That is directly slanderous towards the person taking care of the kids. Like, how do you know that the kids are in danger? Why would you say... That is a very fucking big claim to make. And, and to just say it as straight up fact. Like, why are the kids' lives in danger? Why would you say that? I've always said on this channel, always will say this. You take your children off protect their privacy, protect your children, I will take my videos down about you. We are working with a Canadian firm to subject you to all possible civil liability in Canada. And you can also be held, hailed into a US court, both individually and through the agency representing you. You have over 150,000 YouTube subscribers. Do you really think that out of 150 random people on the internet, none of them are gonna take inspiration from your attacks on the Doherty's to escalate matters into dangerous and disturbing ways? I hope they don't. But again, I can't tell people what to do. I'm just giving you my opinion. Again, if that's illegal, that's news to me. If you are targeting this stalking and harassment in order to coerce Mrs. Doherty to delete her channel, be assured this will not happen. Should you continue your reckless misconduct, we will seek all available legal remedies both in Canada and the United States, including criminal charges and civil action, blah, blah, blah. Criminal charges is pretty bad because a civil lawsuit is very much like a person against a person usually somebody seeks financial compensation or at least to have their lawyer fees paid but criminal charges are criminal <laughs> so it's not very good blah 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 failure to comply is blah 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 cool i'm gonna wipe my ass with this when i go to take a dump later second of all i don't want mrs doherty to delete her channel not at all i think she'd actually quite survive and make tons of money if she stopped talking about her kids still, she might not make as much, but she'd still make a decent living. And I promised her, take your kids off the internet, stop what you're doing, and I'll take my videos and I'll stop talking about you. It's almost like she doesn't understand fair use. Fair use is different though. Fair use is in relation to copyright act. This is not about fair use. Slander, libel, all that stuff, separate than fair use and copyright. And also he's being accused of cyber stalking and invasion of privacy. So these are just very different parts of the law. I don't know how pissed off Alicia is in order to like actually go through with this and sue him for it. But if she is really pissed off and wants to sue, this is going to be 
like a real thing. Like this, I think that this is more dangerous than he thinks it is. Like fair use is what YouTube uses to protect me. So I'm protected by fair use on YouTube by saying I'm doing a reaction to the video. Now, a lot of content creators have tried to strike me before. What YouTube does, if someone strikes me, is that they can, they say, look, we're, we're sending you the strike notification. What are you going to do about it? I always do my rebuttal that my lawyer sent up and I send it back. And it's been a while since I've been struck because YouTube just won't do it anymore. I'm basically protected by fair use. But legally, if they think I'm cyber stalking or if I'm saying go after them or whatever the case may be, they can sue me. They can do that. If, if, I, if I've lied about them, if I've made up slanderous lies about Doherty Dozen, then yeah, they can sue me if they've lost. Like, let's say I say that, and again, this is for, I'm not saying this. Let's say I think, oh, I'm pretty sure that Alicia definitely cooks meth in her garage. And I say that as a statement and it makes her lose her channel or whatever happens, then I could be sued for that. Because yeah, and that's the libel and slander part. That's not the cyber stalking and invasion of privacy. He keeps on leaving that out. He keeps on only talking about the slander because that's just mostly what people on YouTube get actually like sued for. I got <laughs> sued for that. Um, and that's because most people would not want information about themselves to be out there that isn't sort of like a commercial. It's not slander if you're telling the truth, which is what I was doing. The problem is that ex lawsuits are expensive, so I couldn't go through with it. So I did have to like essentially agree to what they were asking. But this isn't just slander. They're talking about cyber stalking, which is like a real like separate thing has nothing to do with slander, if, if that makes sense. And the invasion of privacy also nothing to do with slander. But he's sort of only addressing the slander part. Because that's a lie, right? I don't have any proof of that. What I do on this channel is I take her video and I put it right here and then I pause it every once in a while and make fun of her or break down a lie that she that I'm calling her out on that she's blatantly saying in the video or anybody. Yeah, but that's not what they're talking about. Oh my God, like he keeps on leaving that out. They're not only talking about that. They're also talking about the fact that you are invading their privacy. The commentary part is almost like not even the issue that they are actually suing him for. Right, that's what I do on this channel. That's fair use. That is, that's basically comedy. They're also talking about what you do that isn't just commentary. And it's, by the way, no way this is comedy. Like he's not even a little funny. And nobody has been successfully sued for what I've done. And they have tried. What exactly are the losses that you are talking about? Because like you're talking about slander and, and copyright and fair use. But you are being told that they're going to go for cyber stalking and invasion of privacy as well as slander. So nobody like that I know on YouTube has ever been sued for cyber stalking and invasion of privacy. But I mean, if there if there would be anyone, that would be that challenge podcast because I think he's gone so far. Without a crystal ass over there, she's been sued by like five to ten people, and it's and like and hers is way more egregious than anything I've ever done. And she I don't know if it's like more egregious. It's pretty much the same. Like I literally made another, a video like back in the day saying that he is the next without a crystal ball because they're both so problematic. And she has never lost yet. Big Barbie. Nice, nice picture. Let me guess. You're an OnlyFans star. Um, why are you a man bullying a woman or children? Well, let me tell you this because clearly you are dumb. Jesus, like I cannot stand this guy like he's so ugh. it's just kind of disgusting isn't he i don't bully the woman and her children i call out child exp yeah but you don't know that they are child exp by any means like not even a little bit do you know that so and i said this in my last video if you exploit children for cash yeah but what's your proof that they do that how do you know that they're doing that Okay, if you them, you deserve to be called out and made fun of. Johnny Depp, Amber Heard is different because she disparaged him to the point where he lost contracts with Disney and everything. He lost, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. Like, yeah, yeah. And Johnny Depp and Amber Heard is about defamation, not about cyber stalking and evasion of privacy. So you can't really compare. <laughs> and also, when you do talk about people on the internet and they get canceled, they do lose contracts too. So that is like uh, immediate proof of damage. If I were to lie about Alicia and she'd lose money because of the lie I created, then yeah, I would deserve to be sued for sure. If someone lies about me, like Shannon Rose, when she called me a child piece and uh, wanted to burn my whole family down with them in it, that's a slanderous lie. I can sue her for that. My lawyer's like, yeah, you can absolutely sue her for that. 
So that's a lie because she has no proof. I have never once accused Alicia of doing anything that she has not shown herself. I'm not going to lie about her because I'm not stupid. Well, she has not shown things about her manager, for example. She has not shown things that you have said people have gone to her house and gave you private information about their private life that you're making public. I'm also very, very much willing to be the person that one of these family vloggers sues. And well, that's good because he's really going to get sued. I think, I don't know if this is the time, but I think Josh is going to get in trouble at one point or another, like real problems. And really goes hard for it. Really does go hard. I want to be the case that this can be settled. Come after me. Sue me. Let's go to court. Let's open up discovery. Let's talk about this and let's see if the news starts covering it. Let's do it. You know, the fact that the news will cover you, it's not necessarily a good thing. And you can still be found guilty, even if the news do cover you. Because it depends on what you do and you, what you're doing is pushing the limits. I mean, I'm willing to be that person. I know that my followers absolutely would help me fund a, uh, a lawsuit and a counter lawsuit if I have to, in order to achieve that. Okay, well, that's great for you, but I'm not sure... That's the only thing that matters. And like, as you said, Alicia has a lot of money. And if, and if they're not, it is what it is. I'll, I guess I'll take some loans out. But I am absolutely willing to be that person that they go all the way and sue. So we can see how this turns out. Because that would be a very landmark case because there are a lot of comment creators, content and comment commenters on YouTube who would be watching that like a hawk. Just Yeah, but the content creators that talk about things and they just commentate on things don't necessarily cyber stalk people i don't think that the cyber stalking and invasion of privacy thing is something that just all commentary channels do most people just look at videos react to videos that are already public and he's doing some of that too but um they don't go as far as just having real life contact if that makes sense to see if they because if this ever did go through if she could sue me and was successful for suing me for what i do on here that would literally shut down half of youtube i literally think nobody would be shut down aside from him <laughs> this is a slap lawsuit so a lot of people ask me what a slap lawsuit. this is not a lawsuit yet this is not a slap lawsuit and it's not a lawsuit it's a cease and desist letter a cease and desist letter is part of the procedure um, so I don't know if it's a compulsory part of the procedure, but most times they will send a cease and desist in advance to filing the lawsuit in order to show the judge that they have tried to contact the person and ask them to stop their whatever it is that they're doing. So a cease and desist is not the lawsuit. A slap lawsuit is indeed a thing, but there's also anti-slap laws. So if, if, if it is a slap lawsuit, you can file for an anti-slap motion, essentially. I think something like that. I'm not sure exactly what it's called. But the anti-slap is has been put in place as a law exactly for these kinds of lawsuits that are about libel and defamation and so on in order to stop people to talk about things that are legit and just kind of raise awareness about things that they are doing. And usually um, those claims are not substantiated. So when the claims are not substantiated, your lawyer can very easily file for an anti-slap and then that will be dismissed. But this isn't a lawsuit. This is a cease and desist. So this is them preparing potentially for a lawsuit. This is them just like doing everything by the book so that when they get to the lawsuit, when they get in front of a judge, they can show they've done everything they could and this was the only way forward, essentially. And yeah, they're doing, essentially, they're going about it the right way. But um, this is definitely not a slap lawsuit. This is a threatening letter that says that we are thinking of filing a lawsuit and this is our first step and they will take it from there if they do. What do I mean when she doesn't parent her children? It means that she doesn't parent her children. So when I do this video of all... This is the stuff that is like very slanderous. Like you, how is she not parenting her children? Like, yes, I understand that your opinion might be that, but you're presenting it as if it's a fact that she doesn't do that. And the children have a house and the children have food. And like, I, I don't know what you mean. And that is a very sort of like um, ethereal 
thing to say and that could very well be used in a in a lawsuit against him he said so many things that are so bad that i think if i was alicia i would really just go go for it it's not fair though to say things like that i think it's fair to commentate i think it's fair to express your opinion but i don't think it's fair to make such claims like she doesn't parent her children and stuff and he says things that are a lot worse coming up all the stuff that i figured out i mean it's not hard to see too that the amount of time that she spends on social media okay is abhorrent there's no there is no law that forbids her from both being a parent and spending time on social media there's no way that she can parent 12 children and do the work that she's doing i know how long it takes to do social media yeah but maybe she has a team maybe she has editors and stuff how do you know like she's got TikTok, shorts youtube videos like two, three, four hours of YouTube videos. She posts daily. It takes her hundreds of hours to do what she does. And she sifts through comments and she does all this stuff. There's just no possible. Maybe somebody else is doing the comments. Like most people who are like big channels, they would have people working for them, doing different things in order to like get the videos out, in order to keep the engagement going. And so sort of like, you don't know. You're just making assumptions and you're presenting them as if that means that she's not parenting the kids. And I don't know what to say about that. It does not sound good to me. The way she can parent her children. It's impossible. It's definitely possible. That's what I mean. She didn't send this cease and desist letter until I dropped that comment about her manager. Yeah, maybe this is the part about privacy too, because the manager is not a public figure. So what I think, allegedly, everything's allegedly from this point forward. The fact that he says the word allegedly means nothing. <laughs> it really doesn't. Um, because he, like Amber Heard, for example, did not even say Johnny Depp's name in the articles. And she was still found guilty of like, what was it? Like three out of four counts or something. Is that her, her, her manager is really scared about what's about to come out. And it's pretty bad, her manager. $22 million bad is what's going on. And if her manager wants to come up and sue me, like, I don't know if he's gone to prison or not, but I think he might not be able to cross the border is what I'm saying. So, And this manager she has is allegedly not a good person, has allegedly swindled somebody, I think, out of $22 million. Yeah, it's kind of, big, kind of a big claim to make without showing any proof there. So we're going to look it up. I've got some digging to do, obviously. I got to look up his, he's not a, he doesn't exist on social media, this guy. And that's my point. He's not a public person. So this is not a good look to talk about people who are not public people in a public setting like that. Guy. Okay. Sun and Sky Entertainment or something like that. So we're getting into it. I'm looking into it. Before I get out, I want to just see if he's gone to prison yet for what he did. I don't know. This is why she sent the cease and desist right now. She sent it, I think, 15 minutes before my video went live. They're trying to scare me. Now, I was talking about a slap lawsuit. This is what a slap lawsuit does, okay? So they're banking on me being frightened of this letter that I've gotten from this big, scary lawyer. This is not just them banking on it. This is also them doing their due diligence and showing that they've gone through the proper stages of it this is really really a dirty tactic that rich people use against people who don't have a lot of money and smaller creators it can scare a lot of people and i'm just making but it's like if people are scared they should be because it's pretty bad <laughs> like it's not it's not just like oh whatever just another day in the life you should be scared when you get something like that that's just the way it's comedy it's not comedy <laughs> it's not funny i don't find it funny She's such a coward. Why'd you block me, Alicia? If you want to talk to me, my channel is open. You can come on this channel right now, Alicia. I will open up this window and we can have an adult conversation. Let's go. I also do want to reiterate this guy, guys. And I don't think I've ever said that here and I never will. But don't ever go after children. Like if you follow me, it's never, ever, 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 ever the kid's, the kid's fault in any of these scenarios. None. Never, ever. They are always the victim in everything. These kids are innocent. If you want to call CPS because you see something that is, that's up to you. I'm not your, I'm not your dad. I can't tell you what to do. I did call the FBI and see. See, this is where I feel like it can very easily be seen as if he's encouraging them to do that. Because he says, if you want to call your CPS, I'm not your dad. Don't do it. But I did it. So it sounds like 
you should do you should do it it, it could easily be construed as that and cps on uh jenny popovich's mom for sure i did because i saw some stuff that was that that warranted it not that i think anything is going to happen but you guys make sure that you don't disparage children right you make sure that the nobody's disparaging children what are you talking about those kids are nothing but supported sue me let's go <laughs> dude I don't know. I feel like he thinks like a lawsuit would be this great, amazing thing that happens for his career. I don't know. It wasn't great for Amber Heard now, was it? The, the video went at 1.30. It went on. I'm talking about it here. I'm not going to stop talking about you, Alicia, at all. I'm going to talk about you more now. More and more. And the things that I found out, and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a, a thing that I did find out, okay? Um, see if I can show it to you. See if we can bring it up here. There is one allegation, okay? That is going to piss you off. And I don't know if I'm right about this. And maybe and someone has said she might have even spoken about this. But if you have questions, if you do support Alicia, explain to me why you support her. Are you okay with the explanation of children? This is libel. When you say somebody is a, a child, that's libel. <laughs> because what is your proof? That's a pretty wild claim to make. That person that spoke to me that goes to Alex's school district who said that students are talking about targeting him, if that doesn't scare Alicia, then I have no idea what will. Another thing that I found out about Alicia is that nothing she does, nothing she does is not completely like calculated. So nothing. And? Everything she does is calculated. She was part of this Life 360 group, I think on TikTok or Facebook or whatever, where she was talking about, you know, manipulating and, and discovering algorithms on TikTok and mastering the algorithms and everything else. This woman is not innocent like you guys think, allegedly, right? She is absolutely calculated everything. She does. So she's the fact that she's calculated doesn't make her guilty of anything. It's just it's work. <laughs> Social media is work for some people. If she's going to cry about something. It's going to be calculated. Everything she shows you, like showing her kids shoes, his her kids girlfriend's shoes under the bed, that's calculated. Okay, her husband's swearing on that video. That's calculated. Everything she does is down to the last calculation for her own fame and the algorithm and money. That's and why is that like that's not illegal? So, what does that have to do with your lawsuit? You're being accused of things that are illegal. <laughs> She's just making content. Now, I'm not here to defend the Doherty dozens. I just, as you guys know, I'm not a friend of the Dad Challenge podcast channel. That's all it is. She's actually smart, is what I'm telling you guys. She's not stupid. And she's going to play aloof about this whole thing. But she's doing this on purpose. I honestly believe that this manager of hers is telling her to cause drama so that she is, becomes more appealing to these TLC and all these other, these, these TV shows. Cause that's where the big money is. Alicia makes eight figures a year easily, easily. Just in life 360 alone, she gets paid almost 20,000, if not more a month, just from life 360. I'm going to call them out. I reached out to them for comment. They obviously didn't say anything back to me. So life 360 is an app for children to keep your children protected, right? It's literally enough to track them, to track what they're doing online, everything else. So yeah, anyway, life 360, it's this probably one of the biggest security apps for children. And I asked them, Maybe I can bring it up here if I can find it. I said, how are you okay with using the exploitation of children online to advertise to other people about safety of children? He's like pissing off a lot of people around Alicia too. Like this, like if you're pissing off Alicia like big time, you're pissing off her manager big time, you're pissing off Life360. Dude, I don't know. I mean, I'm just saying once you're served with a cease and desist, you should probably play it safe rather than do this it could be very detrimental in a lawsuit to say things like that what my sources have said is that she alicia straps one of her children and this is allegedly guys i can't corroborate it because i don't think she's talked about it yet but basically one of her children gets strapped into their bed at night because they are runners and there might possibly allegedly be locks on the doors, not the inside. There are also allegedly cameras in every bedroom. So what I'm telling you is that if this is true and if it can be corroborated, if she straps one of her children down at night, that to me is unbelievable. And again, allegedly not been corroborated, but I am talking to somebody. The fact that you're talking to somebody, like it doesn't matter. You're the one pushing the information out. Um, 
it's not being corroborated, so don't talk about it, I think, right? Isn't that how it should be? Just only talk about things that you have confirmed. If Alicia straps one of her children, I'm not saying that that doesn't happen because there are there are scenarios where that, you know, you don't want a kid to run out, sneak out of the window, run away, run down the street, get hit by a car. I understand that. But uh, I think the things that I'm finding out are going to really, really get you upset. The one big thing is this manager that's really got me. This 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 person who she is literally attached her whole entire family to. In the end, it's really just about she doesn't care about the children's safety, allegedly, is what I'm saying. Isn't that wild, the stuff he's saying? Like, there's a difference between commentating on things and just straight up saying things like that. I don't know. I've been sent two cease and desist letters before this one. One from Jess Pham's, um, what do you call it? The entertainment company. What the hell are they called? Shoot, we agency. Seems like he didn't really learn anything. I guess he got lucky before because he didn't. they didn't go as far as suing him. But I think, I don't know, at this rate, he's definitely going to get sued someday and they will definitely have some decent claims. That was, I don't know, like almost a year ago and nothing came from that. So I basically said, okay, let's go to court. Right. But the we agency apparently has got itself into some troubles financially, allegedly. So, um, again, don't forget that these are slap lawsuits, but don't also don't forget that I'm actually willing to go. To None of that is a slap lawsuit. Why does he keep saying that? Cease and desist letters are letters, not lawsuits. Oh, toe to toe in court during this whole thing. Absolutely. I am. Yeah, you are. But like, do you have a choice if they're accusing you of invasion of property and Sorry, invasion of privacy and cyber stalking, which is illegal in the criminal court. You don't have a choice, <laughs> I don't think. So, yeah, you might be willing, but um, yeah, maybe you you have a choice on the slander part. But I don't know if you have a choice for the criminal charges. But in the end, comedy is comedy. Commentary is commentary. They're not suing you for commentary. Very. Someone just asked if she straps her kids to the bed. Oh, in the live. Ooh. Now, again, that's allegedly. I don't have anything to back it up, but I, I'm trying to show you a photo of the bunk bed with the marks from the, what could be the straps. It's getting a little bit crazy, what, what I'm trying to, what I'm figuring out. If there are cameras in these children's bedrooms, what is it with all these adopted family YouTubers who have cameras in their children's bedrooms? My source says that, you know, something that I already knew, that every fridge and every cupboard has locks on it. So Alicia buys $5,000 worth of food like a week or whatever, two weeks, right? But she, she locks her kids away from having any of it. Or I guess maybe some of the kids have the codes or whatever. Why is she buying so much damn food, but locking it away so no one can have it? I mean, how do you know that they're not having but it? But does she think that taking me to court, I'm not going to publicize the shit out of that? It could be. It could be that you are. This happened to me when I got sued. Basically, part of it, what they did is they asked the judge for me not be, to be able to talk about the lawsuit. And you can't talk about it if, if that's what happens, because then you will be in real trouble if you do go against what a judge says. Like they're probably trying to ask a judge to say he's not allowed to talk about it or whatever, but I hope that would never happen. That could absolutely 100% happen. Because I would absolutely capitalize on this. Exactly. And this comment right here is why they will say don't. And they probably would be granted that motion. To 100%. Like... I'll live stream from the court myself. The thing that I have on her too is just like, it's basically stuff that can be corroborated, right? But now that I've had people who have been in her home who have said what they're saying. Alicia, let me just put it this way. Everybody Alicia has maybe aligned with in the past has severed all ties and burned all bridges. Let me just say that. Alicia does not have, does not have a friend in this industry. None. She has burned all bridges. And there's other creators out there that she has basically tried to shut down their channels, allegedly. Josh, if they take you to court, <laughs> you'll find out that the word allegedly does not do as much as you think it does. There are creators out there who are deathly afraid to talk about Doherty Docu Dozen, about Alicia. They are so afraid of Alicia that they're like, you can't say anything about who I am. Or they, I'm not allowed to say who they are. Okay, they are so afraid of this woman with those eyebrows that she has. They are afraid of her. This woman has people who are, hear this, they are in fear, not just of their channels, but some have said of their lives. That is fucking wild for you to say. I am sorry, but this is why I got so pissed off. I was like, I need to talk about it because like, look at the stuff he's saying. He's accusing her of having done so much damage 
that people are fearing for their life. I would not be so confident like he is about um, him winning anything. Like you, you're saying some wild shit. Kid you not. She does have money, Becky Lee. She makes more money. I'm telling you, hundreds of thousands a month. Just in Life360 alone, her, her sponsorship was over $20,000 a month just from one sponsor. See, that is the also a sort of dangerous thing because if she does make a lot of money and she has a lot of money, she could very easily sue and drag this on for years. And if she gets like a motion approved that she, he can't talk about it, <laughs> he's just fucked. So... Lauren says, how can she be mad about people telling her she's a crappy parent when she airs it all for the world to see? This is the issue with like what a lot of people are saying about what her, her lawsuit to me is that they're upset. They're calling it cyber stalking and all this kind of stuff. But all I'm doing is taking the content that she has given to me. And the rest. There is no content that she gave you about her private life. You're talking to people who've been to her house and in her privacy. And you're saying these things on a public platform. I don't know. I don't know if all you're doing is putting her, you know, you're, you're not just commentating. And the rest of the internet and talking about it. There's one simple way for that to not happen is don't put it on the internet. You have 5 million followers. And she didn't put it on the internet. The stuff that you're saying about her manager, she didn't put it on the internet. The stuff that you're saying about the sources that you have, which could literally be made up information, by the way, you guys. Like this could, there could be zero sources and he could just be making this up followers on tiktok you're famous sorry look at h3 h3 taking a court for ryan kavanaugh commentary and slander and they won the case yeah it's they're not gonna win but this was not about um this was not about cyber stalking and the invasion of privacy i don't lie if i lied okay maybe i understand that but i don't lie they're not only accusing him of lying that is one of three things they're also accusing him of two other things. It's not just about lying, my dude. I'm sorry. The other channels don't get a lot of views. That's probably why. Plus, they don't have the information. Also, the other channels just commentate. That's all they do. You take things far. That she knows I now have. The, the issue is that Alicia knows the information I have and she's scared. That's why she sent me the cease and desist letter. She doesn't want me talking about it. And the reason she sent me the video today or the cease and desist today is because she wanted the 1.30 p.m. live shut down because she thinks I was going to talk about it. But I didn't. And I appreciate it. I know that people will support it. And that's why I'm happy to be the guy that if she wants to come sue me, you know, with the help of people, we can take this and make it a national conversation. If she's going to sue me in a court of law, that's public. That's public knowledge. Like, let's do this. Let's let's finally talk. Maybe this is one way we could. It's not necessarily public knowledge because it depends on whether or not they get um, a judge to stop you from talking about it. And if they do, then you can't talk about it and they won't. So it's not going to be public. We can get people talking about this. Sue me. Fine. Playing for keeps. What do you think it will take for Lush to phase out exploiting your children? Uh, laws. I think that any of these family vloggers that make millions of dollars, like put yourself in her position, okay? They didn't make a ton of money before, okay? Put yourself in her position. She makes millions of dollars a year. Do you think that you would stop? I would be scared if somebody who makes millions of dollars, which is exactly what happened to me, would sue me because these lawsuits cost a lot of money and they can be dragged on forever, for years, literal years. Another thing that I think I found out on the inside, and this is alleged, is that what we all think is that when she makes these meals, she doesn't feed them to her children. She just throws them in the garbage. She's making a meal for the camera, and then the kids just eat cereal or whatever, or, you know, the the, the frozen... What you... Yeah, that sounds like this is not fact-checked at all. It sounds like information that you have no way of knowing that it's true. What do you call those things with the peanut butter and jam in the middle of them and all that stuff? Like she makes the food just for the video. But if she was just honest about it, then maybe we'd be like, okay, cool. But she's not. This really just confirms to me anyway, that what I know is likely the truth. Does it now? <laughs> is it the truth? Is it the truth? And she's scared about what I know. She's reeling in her mind right now. What does he know? Who's been to my house? Because... It's so scary for her, what I know, that she literally got a lawyer, sick the lawyer on me. Not necessarily. If she straps her kids, straps a kid down at night or whatever, if that's part of their 
medical if a doctor says it's okay they that's again this does happen everybody this this is something that happens um but she, she <laughs> if that's happened to me that really 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 gets me it's just not really being able to parent your children if you have to strap your child down to sleep at night something tells me something's happened in the past so that that causes you to do that thing or you just don't you're just can't parent your child you don't have the ability Maybe that's another reason why she has cameras in kids' bedrooms. Oh, I wasn't saying about the bone broth. She, Alicia was just making an example of, you know, giving, I think she said just she might have given her kid a bone broth diet at one point so they could reset their systems or something. I'm like, if you get sources that you feel are not reliable and just trying to start drama, how do you know trust the source? Yeah, I've had problems with this in the past by being catfished. So I'm very, very, very careful with who I talk to and... Yeah, but <laughs> you, I don't know. I don't know who these people are, and I don't know what you're doing to make sure that you're not getting catfished or whatever. This could com be completely made up, you guys. I know. I know. I know that they are problematic. Doherty dozens themselves, but this guy is also very problematic and pushing the limits of the law here. And corroborating my sources, so you know you can't be perfect every time. But the persons that I'm speaking with, I trust them. Because I can, I can't tell you why. Well, yes, you should. You should tell people why you're trusting them. Otherwise, why would other people trust the information coming from them? I just, that's it. I said, just got done speaking with some people who know what goes on behind the scenes of the Doherty Dozens house. And OMG, when I- He literally tagged them. Jesus, you don't tag them. Of course, they're going to get pissed off. Oh my God. Yeah, this guy just wants clout. Like Josh, I'm sorry, but Josh is just a, it's just a, just like the Doherty doesn't. They just want clout, and that's it. I tell you, my jaw dropped. I'm compiling it all now, but every it's everything we all fear and more. Life 360 is going to have some explaining to do. This woman is an absolute fraud in every conceivable way. Yeah, that was also very slanderous. How can you just say she's a fraud? What, like, just say it? She's just a fraud. Where's your proof? way i wish i could just drop it all now but i want to make sure i get it right get f and ready that's what i wrote and her lawyer says i sent a spy into her house so they're really really scared cease and desist letters are just again if you they're really scared and you're not <laughs> i feel like you should be too i don't know just my opinion you guys like i think this guy is just a lot if you ever in this space and you get a cease and desist letter it's basically them trying to scare you saying like we got money we're willing to sue you but people who've been served a couple of them and have done the research and have paid lawyers to do research for me, we know that this is just a scare tactic. And if she does want to take it to the next level, I'm happy to do that. It's not just a scare tactic. Like I said, I think it's also part of the procedure that the lawyers have to go through. Basically, they want to show the judge and you want to sh show the jury that they tried asking you and you refused and you continued. So it's not just a scare tactic. It helps in the grand scheme of things. Because she like posts on the internet that she wanted to hire a nanny and a bunch of people reached out to me like, should I apply to be their nanny? I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Life yeah, kind of going close there. Life360 is an app that she is sponsored by that's like tracking your kids, what they do online, tracking them where they are. It's apparently one of the biggest apps in the market and they pay her tens of thousands a month to advertise for them. They're accusing me of cyber stalking. Cyber stalking, like I'm stalking them, which is quite funny because that's, they put it out on the internet and I download it. How is that stalking? That's not the part that they are referring to. I feel like as much as I was in a similar situation, I was not accused of cyber, cyber stalking or invasion of privacy. I was accused of defamation, which I also didn't have money to defend. So <laughs> that was it. But basically, I feel like... I don't want to say that I wish they sue him and I wish they win, but I never liked what he's on about. Like, I don't like the way he goes about it. I think he pushes the limits so very far. I think that he should be a lot more careful and I think it just brings sort of a very bad name to commentary in the way that he does it. And I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Josh and I'm also not a fan of the Doherty Dozens. By the, by the way, I've ha kind of wanted to um, talk about them for a while, so maybe I should. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys would like that. But I would love to hear what you think about what I just said. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you like it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!